in a world like none other. There comes one man in search of plastic, in search of cons. He is known as Plasticon. Join him as he brings toys from another dimension to a household near you. Welcome back to another Plasticon review. Today we're going to cover Generation 2 G.I. Joe crossover Warpath. Here is G2 Warpath in his tank mode. As you guys can see he's got this awesome camo, this kind of like a maroon and white and gray just littered all over the tank mode. He's got some amazing molded detail, and he's got these little antennas here that stick up on the back. It's a very, very cool looking tank. I do like it a lot. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, but hey, it's it's pretty good. I like this huge bumper he's got here on the front. It's for like ramming things. And he's also got some little headlights here, kind of recessed down there, which is pretty neat. This is kind of like a little personal tank. It's not a huge one, but, you know, it's big enough. It's got a turret here that will move back and forth, just left to right. doesn't move up and down. It's got a little bit of wiggle, but not a lot. I mean, this is G.I. Joe stuff, so what do you expect? It's got a lot of molded detail here, like some armor plating here on the front, and just a lot of riveted detail throughout the whole thing. It looks very cool. It's got his nice G2 emblem right there on the top. All this kind of stealthy looking stuff. He's almost like a little stealth tank, which is neat. I do like it a lot. It does have an opening cockpit that opens just like so. And then we got Beachhead in here. Here's the 90s beachhead. I think he looks very awesome. I love his. I love his deco. He just works. And I think it looks pretty cool with him. It's very interesting how you know it's a little different coloration, but that's okay. If you take a look at the inside of the cockpit of this thing, it's got a lot of molded detail down there. It's even got some control panels and little control sticks and such. It's pretty neat. I do like it a lot. doesn't have a whole lot of detail on the inside, but just enough for Joe's. It works very well for that. I'm going to close the canopy down. And he just looks pretty amazing next to him. Now I know some people out there are like, that's an art custom. Yes it is. It is an art custom. And I'm, I, I love doing customs. I enjoy doing it. So I came up with this color scheme, and I think this color scheme works pretty great. I love how asymmetrical I want with all the uh, camo, just kind of running the camo throughout it, and trying to make sure it connected here and there, and didn't like look way off, but also didn't overtake the entire thing. I'm really proud of how this camo turned out. And I don't know, it's just, it's just something about how this looks on this tank. It just works very well. It kind of shows that he would be like one of those smaller tanks that would hide in the bushes or whatever, you know, to kind of snipe out the Decepticons and also take out Cobra while they're at it to make sure, you know, there's nothing insane going on. Because, you know, Warpath was always good about running into battle, but he was also a smaller tank. He wasn't a huge one, which is really kind of invokes the, you know, the size that Warpath would be. And the fact that Beachhead is with him, I think it works very well. I could have took Beachhead's colors and went on this, but I was like, you know, I really wanted to go with this because this really fits more of the 90s camo scheme that we kind of saw back then. Because not very many tanks invoke colors like this anymore. This is a very, very 90s kind of look for this design of camo. I just love it. I think it's amazing. Now, some of you guys out there are like, okay, I know exactly what tank that is. That is from the core. You're right, it is a core tank. 
Um, I happen to have got this particular tank from a uh, thrift shop. And you can usually find these fairly cheap, really easy to find. I do know he's supposed to have another little turret here, but you know what? I don't care if he doesn't have that gun there. It doesn't matter. I, I actually like what he looks like without it, honestly, because it just, it just works better for me. I'll just end what this looks like. I really like this tank. He's pretty neat. But anyway, this has been a, another quick little review of a G.I. Joe slash Transformers crossover review. You guys stay tuned because I have plenty more coming out as well. This has been Blastcon, and this is me signing off. Peace out, y'all. See you around. That's it for now. Bye.